Hi everyone, how are you doing? Martin here. One hour playthrough. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm sitting here in Diamond City. Oh, almost under the Christmas tree. It's so nice. If you do this on the... So in-game right now, it's the... Um, the 25th. And um, yeah, you will get uh, a really nice Christmas sphere. Oh, um, yes. Yes. I was just chilling here. Almost out of money. Oh, oops. I had a, uh, spent a lot of money to get to the 25th of December, but that's fine. Uh, let's just turn off this music, shall we? Alright, and in today's episode, we are going to do reunions. Discuss your findings with Nick. So, last time we uh, defeated Kellogg. And uh, now we have to have a word and talk about what we learned. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Would be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son, but that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. All right. Let's get to it. All right, move. Anything I can do? 
You just say the word. Yeah, push Nick out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. Right, so what I'm going to do first. Um, in the uh, previous episode, I earned myself a two shot hunting rifle. This is going to be very sweet. And we're going to do some upgrading right now. But I need to go to a hangman's alley for that. So, um, yeah, let me do that and we'll see you in a second. Alright, at first I thought I'd have a good sleep. We're back in Hammond's Ali, let me get all the hey. stuff of Nora. She's carrying... This is enough. Oh, I have to limb back. Um, yeah, I have to do these upgrades. I'll get all the mods of my current sniper rifle off. I'll put it on the new one. It's going to be so very sweet. And maybe there's still room to improve my little 10 mil. That would be really great. All right. Um, this one can go. That's no problem. This one can go as well. This one, we take all the mods up. That one, definitely that one. The quick eject, doesn't really matter. Well, probably can sell the mod, but... And this one, alright, perfect. Remove this, upgrade this one. Let's put the calibrated on and the long ported. Marksman, oh, this is lovely. I love it. This we have to make, yeah. That's fine. And the long scope. And we can make a muzzle here. There we go. Perfect. And we've got a pretty decent sniper rifle for our current level. That's really nice. Um, for the 10 mil, we can do better in terms of damage for sure. So that's good. And I do like a bigger magazine. But I don't think I have... No. Need more adhesive. That's fine. This upgrade, this will do. Alright. Let's move out. Nora, let's move out. Um, I can reload this. That's double. Oh, and... I just noticed. You. Go number three. Perfect. Okay. Got the seven shot. Little upgrade for the magazine in here. Now let's take the next one left. Let me. Uh, Did I not activate the quest? Hang on. No. It should be dangerous mines. That's right. All right. Now, along the way, not so far from here, there's a raider camp I really like to hit. I like to improve my armor if I can. Oh, we were just run by another little raider camp. I just don't, don't care about them. I did dinged um, off camera though. But I have not even spent a point. We, we do that later. Although, hang on, actually, I think I put it in here. I do like to have a master lock as well, and I do like to unlock local leader as well at some point, but we'll see about that. Right. Now, not so far away from here. Let's see. Yeah, it should be close here. Alright, I think there's a dude inside this building. Let's try to take him out first. There he is. Alright, perfect. Got this dude. Now, behind this big building here, this is where I want to be. Alright, let's take care of the turret first. Now, might be dude up there. Might be even throwing grenades, so I have to be careful. And there it is. I think I missed. Hang on. Alright. Let's see if we can infiltrate this. And there probably is a legendary in here as well. So often there is. Not sure where these shots come from though. I don't trust up. If they throw a grenade, I'm so done. 
Right, he's a gunner. I hope that's Nora behind me. Yeah. I'm really worried about upstairs. Hit him. Damn. Oh, there's another one. You miss? I'm pretty sure. Is there another one down here? Maybe? Open this door. Alright, I have to get Shit. inside. ASAP. Where's my legendary? Look at him. <laughs> um, no legendary. All right. All right. Should be a guy walking around here as well. So let's wait for him. Blow his brains out. Yes. That's a clean kill. Let's see whatever you like. Take your bullets and take your aluminum. Let's check upstairs. I was hoping for some proper armor though. I need to check properly the other guys downstairs, but let's clear up first. All right. It's definitely one up here. And often he's in bed. Oh shit. Up. Oh my god. Don't like it. Where the hell is he? Is he still downstairs? Really? I haven't found a piece of combat armor. No? Still definitely. Oh, there he is! Where did he come from? Boom. I'm peckish. We need food. Let's have a noodle cup. This food and drink. It's perfect. 50 cal. 50 cal. Wait, what? <gasps> Alright. You. Hey. Trade. Um, this is really very good. Sure. Anything you need. Alright, um... Excuse me? I Save the game, that gun anything. is mine. I like having a um, I'm going not to jump down. I've lost Nora. This mod sometimes a bit weird. Oh, yeah. Red X. So, we're just going to take the instance route. Okay. Let's see. Um, I don't think any of these guys have decent armor. That's a shame. And there is no weapons workbench. I don't think I have the stuff with me that I need to take off the 50 um, cal and replace it with the current... What is a 308 that I have? But that's fine. Alright. Let's go. We're almost there. We're almost um, a good neighbor. Let's just hang a left over here. Of course I'm peckish again. It must be the noodle soup. I think uh, I think Michael likes it. Nora on the other hand, hmm, not so sure about that. Alright, let's hurry it up. This is not the safest part of town. I'll probably have some Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. Yeah. Uh -oh. I know there's ghouls over here, which I really like to try to ignore for now. Go straight to memory then. It should be the next... Oh, shit. Yeah, later. Come on now. That noise? 
I love these guys. That's fantastic. All right. Good neighbor. Here we are. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. That's so. You better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now. Nora, dislike okay. that. Time out. Someone steps through the gate. Girl, time what's wrong with you? you All right. That extortion crap. What are you Memory care? Dan really should be... Oh, oops. Just around the corner. Here. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. I'm saying. Really? Yes. Mm. No. All right. Let's see. Well, well, oh, Nikki is here. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about. Look at this guy. May have walked He's just out straight of out of the Matrix. Now, I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. You big flirt. Sup, Nick? Who are you? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Oh, I am. Thanks, Irma. All right. Excuse us. Sup, Nick? It's the silent type today. Dr. Ooh. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. Please. I need your help. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, the hell is she doing? I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. All right, there we go. Oh, all right. I'll take this one then.
Oh, Nora. So sweet you come and have a wee look. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant. No final nodes. words, no. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. I like your color suit. But it's, there. it's nice. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. There we go. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Cool. Oh, there we go. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Weaving our way on memory strings. Were they dendrites or something? Cold? I don't know. There we go. Remember. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Let's see. What's he reading? Oh, he's got the whole collection of Grognak. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Ooh, NCR, Fallout 3. God, that mm, was so good. What a joke. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but... Uh, she loved me, and in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Right. What's it mean? This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Where is it? There. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Try that one. Alright. Let's see. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, hmm. you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever it's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like all right let's say you i was the worst thing that ever happened to her if she'd never met me she'd have stayed in the hub maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. Connie? We are. You'll see. 
That's okay. I got her. Really? Connie? Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Oh, all right. Let's go. Connie? Kalok? Connie? Really? All right, what's this? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Uh oh. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Who are they? That doesn't sound like the Institute. I found another memory to try. I'll connect hmm. That was me more like Gunners or something like that. Mercs. Huh. So they killed his wife and kid. Well, hmm. Alright. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Wastelanders. Oh, these two guys feel like sins. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well... It's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Really? Next so... One. Huh. They were discussing my family then? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So... You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really it's existed. You. <laughs> we do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System off. Shutting down. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. <laughs> Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. We're <laughs> running out of brain. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Brilliant. Connecting now. Huh? Oh, Manual yes. That's right. Cryogenic stasis. Oh shit, Suspended. we can see. I can see myself here. All computers are still working. There I am. That's good. Checking through the hey, logs. Michael. Hopefully it's all just find it. Oh man, it's so good. I remember this from the Down first time. The Here we go. Oh. Of course these guys were still alive then. Oh, because they all died. This is the one. Here. Open it. Damn. At least we still have the backup. Cryo 
cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. All right, this way? This way. Oh, yes. We're back in Diamond City. Is that your son? Oh, shit. This it appears is. to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had... turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Hmm. Uh oh, Piper. Let's see. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Cool. No, there he Hello. is. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. That music, though. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Ooh. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Damn. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's hmm. found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. Surgical as as journey. And test lie. Alright. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No, no hunger, thirst. Done this before. How do you feel? Damn, where's that radio? I'm fine. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. 
A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alright, cool. And the radio stump. Perfect. Let's talk to Nick. See what he has to say. I've never been up here. Hmm. There he is. What's up, Nick? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Kellogg? Is that you? You, um... You feeling all right, Nick? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. All right. Sweet. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to This us. was the exit, right? Yeah. We should head back to the office next chance. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to call in a birdie bird and let them bring me back to Hangman's Alley. I'll get that 50 mil off and put it on my new sniper. Definitely. That's going to make a big difference, I think. So, um... Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a really great Christmas. I will try to make another episode before the new year. And till then, have a great holiday days. And we'll see you next time. Bye.